Covering your health tonight, June is Wound Care Awareness Month. And as Newsweek's medical editor, Dr. John Lepre explains, there's been a rise in cases of chronic wounds and preventative care is becoming more critical. This is Wound Care Awareness Month, a time to recognize the cause of chronic wounds and the variety of treatments available. Cindy Wigley is a chronic wound patient. I had an ileostomy uh, 10 years ago and have abscesses and just chronic wounds throughout the years. Today, I'm with the Lord's Wound Care Center and Mary Blanchard is the program director. Our goal is to prevent infections, um, save someone from a possible amputation, prevent hospitalization, so the sooner the better. And Cindy has some practical advice. You know, and you have to be patient with the wound and listen to your doctor and the nurses that care for you. Now let's cover some basic mechanisms behind a chronic wound. The first is poor arterial blood flow into an area. The tissue begins to starve and break down. Next is a loss of nerve sensation to the area. Injuries are not detected and things worsen. Lastly, constant pressure to an area impairs local circulation and the cells break down. Even worse, a disease like diabetes affects both blood flow and nerves. Diabetic foot ulcerations account for 30% of all chronic wounds. The Lord's Wound Care Center offers a comprehensive approach. Our physician is doing things like debridements, um, we're doing offloading to help wounds heal, compression therapy, um, skin substitutes, um, along with our hyperbaric chambers. It makes for a better life when you get in the treatment that you need to get. Chronic wounds can lead to serious problems like amputation or infection throughout the body. They need professional care. For Wound Care Awareness Month, I'm Dr. John Laprie, News 15.